Hi, Internet. I'm Udoka. Welcome to my channel where I'm usually unedited talking about my life, my personal mental health and fitness and whatnot. But the last couple of videos have been about Trisha Paytas and just sharing my take on it. Um, Trisha did come up with a statement this evening while I was watching the movie Free Guy, which, by the way, Free Guy is an Beautiful, feel good. I mean, it was just such a feel good movie. So if you're looking to have a good time, I do recommend the movie. But anyway, I digress. I want to listen to this with you and interject with my thoughts. A uh, spoiler alert: Trisha does not take accountability. Surprise, surprise. Um, in the last video, we were wondering if Trisha would escalate things to get attention or if she would fall into her typical routine, which is blow up online, take some time off and come back to basically say the exact same thing, but in a calmer tone. And that is what she did today. And, but this time was, I don't know, there was something about this time that just felt very Gabby Hanna. Um, I, I don't know. I never viewed Trisha as an overt narcissist, but this vi it's this video is very, I mean, it's screaming um, really loud. I also suspect that she'll post more about it. Um, it would surprise me if she didn't continue posting uh, about it, um, whether via tweets or more YouTube videos, um, but only time will tell. First, before we get into Trisha, and by the way, we're going to listen to it. I don't know if I said this. We're going to listen to Trisha because I know she will copyright strike the video if I just show her video on screen. So let's just listen and see if we can avoid that YouTube type of harassment. Before we get into that, I do want to talk about some tweets. Okay, Twitter is alive. And some of these tweets we're going to be looking at in real time together. Firstly, I want to share the tweets of um, Morgan. So I'll put a link to this video in the description. But there is um, this user, Morgan, who people feel pretty confident this is who they say they are. She pretty much doxed herself. And I think, I think her Twitter account is deleted or something because she talks to herself. She talks to herself to prove she is who she is. And she, um, it's interesting that she says it's effing true, but then she goes on to say something that is not what Trisha said. But anyway, I digress. Tr Trisha, and this is important because Trisha does mention her in the video we're about to listen to. But as you can see, Morgan is talking about how she experienced Mr. R rubbing shoulders during the Heads Down 7-Up game. Um, also, she um, texts different people about um, why was Mr. R fired. Um, people have, and it sounds like, like, okay, when I was in high school, we had a creep teacher as well. And, um, there were different stories. There was always different stories um, about what's happening, what happened to him, what's happening. So similarly, this, this has a lot of stories. This, for the family, has to be heartbreaking because the shoulder rubbing, inappropriate. Obviously, there's no proof of that. But And, and I've only been able to find one person talk about that. But something like why he was fired, that's something that could be verifiable if the school is willing to release their HR records or what was the cause. He was fired for cause. What was that cause? Um, but as of now, it's just it still sounds like high school rumors. Some people are saying that um, it was a ploy to get him fired because some parents didn't like him. <laughs> Some people are saying that um, he was looking at 
P on a school computer and a fellow teacher walked in on him. Some people say that it was an email. He sent an email to a fellow teacher with adult content in that email and a student happened upon that email. So the story is all over the place, but sound pretty much sounds like he was caught looking at, uh, at P related to his school email account. That's what I gathered from it. Um, again, there's no proof, but these are the real actual allegations. These probably are the allegations Trisha wishes that she had said. <laughs> and we'll hear in her video how she will say that she just misheard, right? So she's trying, she's going to try to imply that these are the allegations that she heard. She just misremembered and simply misspoke is what she's going to say. Okay, so let's look at Ethan's Twitter, which Ethan is relevant because Ethan Klein is Trisha's scapegoat in this situation. In my opinion, he literally has nothing to do with this. <laughs> okay, he, has, he literally has nothing to do with this. But since he's a scapegoat, I think it's worth checking out his Twitter. He did make some tweets. Now, the thing about Ethan is uh, uh, there are a lot of people. It seems like there's, there's a lot of people on his side. I pretty much am on his side. There are people who dislike him and also Trisha. And there's, there's, like, there's a small few that just love Trisha's poops and farts. Uh, she could do no wrong, and they absolutely hate Ethan. And those people seem really unreasonable. And actually, I, I've never heard anybody in that camp make logical sense. But the people who also don't like Ethan, those are going to be the people who will say, Ethan needs to stop talking about Trisha, period. Um, very much like if you remember uh, Victoria's Secret Karen, right? That woman was screaming and flailing on the ground and everyone around was telling the, the victim in the situation that was telling her, why don't you just ignore her? Why don't you just leave her alone? I understand that mentality and I use, I use that mentality in my daily life, right? Like that's just, it's just the, the easiest, quickest solution and most mature way to handle a difficult person is to ignore them. And people want Ethan to do that. People feel like, Ethan, you know that Trisha is not a stable, reasonable, rational person, so you need to ignore her. But I'm, I also believe that you have the right to defend yourself. So when that victim in that Victoria's Secret situation said, no, I'm going to keep filming. So when the police come, they'll have footage to believe me. I 100% am with that. I'm 100% for, listen, I don't care that you have problems. I am going to defend myself. I 100% I agree with that. I personally wouldn't do it because... In case you haven't noticed, it is annoying. It is a pain. It is a hassle to keep defending yourself against somebody like Trisha. But for somebody who has the wherewithal to do it, I, I don't knock it at all. So let's check out what Ethan has been saying. Okay. So after... Ethan said, please stop harassing anyone involved. I don't know if this is too small. Um, he then, and don't make fun of me for being like white, for having the white screen. I usually, on my phone, it's the black, okay? I have the black layout, but okay. <laughs> okay, if she, Trisha, wants me to stop talking about her, then she needs to stop lying about me. 
I agree. Now, there's people who are going to be on to Ethan for that. There's going to be people who will say, she's never going to stop. So you need to stop. You need to be the bigger person. And, you know, sometimes it's like, screw being the bigger person. I'm going to stand up for myself. Her teacher is being doxxed for one reason only. She mentioned him by name, school, and year, and told people to look him up. 100%. She needs to take responsibility and stop blaming me for her ish. That's the only thing we've been asking for, but she's made it clear she's not going to do that. So this is going to be a never ending war. It's going to be never ending. Ethan is going to continue to defend her, himself. And Trisha is going to continue to pretend that triggers her. I say pretend because I really believe she's using it as a tactic to continue her charade. You can't beat, when it comes to somebody with BPD, it's very hard to beat them at their own game. They can, it's kind of like, you ever, you ever deal with a baby that just doesn't stop crying and you think, you know what, eventually you gotta stop crying. Like eventually you gotta fall asleep. You gotta poop. You gotta eat. Eventually you'll stop crying and you're sitting there five hours later the baby is still screaming at the same volume. That's Trisha, that's Trisha Paytas, okay? <laughs> so everyone's just kind of waiting for Ethan to give up. Trisha has accused me of sending a hate mob after her. That's literally all she's tried to do since the first day Frenemies ended. I have not even mentioned their allegations once on the podcast. She is lying, saying it's our fault. We have nothing to do with this hate mob. I don't know if Ethan is under the impression that there's like a lot of people who don't agree with him. Um, I hope Ethan knows that most people agree with him. Most people understand what he's saying. Um, and the people he's responding to, the people who don't get it, they are not going to comprehend because of your tweets. I don't think Ethan knows that. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't think he knows that, or maybe he does know that, but Ethan, part of what makes Ethan entertaining as well, and not that I, I don't know, I don't watch the podcast a lot, um, but uh, Ethan, even, I used to, I watched every H3, H3 Productions episode back when they were posting on that channel, and the one thing about Ethan is Ethan will clap back. Okay, Ethan claps back. He claps back. Um, it kind of, it's like, did y'all not know this about Ethan? He will clap back. If you talk on his name wrong, he will clap back. And he's, Ethan is doing what Ethan does. And I don't think, I think what he's doing is warranted. But at the same time, those of us who aren't in the situation with the heat of like having this annoying person in your life, we're just like, bro, it's just going to go on forever. Like just, just, just end it because you're the only one with enough sense to end it. So that's what Ethan said. Let's see if, is Trisha's page back up? Let's see. Okay. Not back up. I hope she keeps it that way, but let me rearrange the screen. We're going to listen to her now. Okay. Let's listen. Wouldn't it be something if this gets deleted? Let's listen. Should I play it at normal speed or a little bit sped up? Let's do a little bit sped up. This is half an hour. If my if I'm lagging, it's because that's just what happens with this program. Let's just do a little bit faster. All right, hey guys. Um, I want to make this as short and condensed as possible because I really felt pressured into making this video, and I I really don't want to talk. About so right off the bat, this is insincere. She preference she prefaces. I can't say that friggin' word. 
She prefaces this video by making sure we know that she felt pressured. She didn't really do this willingly. Who pressured her? Did she, is she referring to Ethan's text? Is she referring to all of us asking her to hold herself accountable? Or did somebody else, like her mom or her sister, or, or somebody else pressure her? I don't know. But right off the bat, you already know this is not a sincere video. But further, um, it's just been a lot. It's been a lot for me to process. Um, first and foremost, I want to apologize for... Okay, sorry. Let's do normal speed because she talks fast. My posting, my psychotic breakdown, I literally, I had a snap. And I snapped and I didn't know what to do and I was uncontrollable. I was out of control. And um, with her mental health issues, this is normal. Like I mentioned, she was, the, the logical capacity was not available. It literally was not available. The, there are people who, when they get in a certain emotional state. There are studies on this as well. It's like not possible for them to think rationally. Luckily, Moses had come back and I was able to gain some sort of self-control because I, 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 I felt helpless at my wit's end and I just, I... I snapped and I apologize for it because I had a breakdown for posting it and for anyone who's worried. It's been crazy the past couple weeks. Um... Also, mind you, I just want to point this out. Look at the back, look at her room. Look at the room that she's doing this in. I just, I'm saying this for context and for like mind, for a certain mindset. Like, don't you wish, if you're going to have a mental breakdown, isn't it lovely to have it in a plush bed with a big screen TV and a fireplace? Like, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just reminding you that this is a multimillionaire who made her millions off of this cyclical behavior. I don't know. I don't want to speculate why, but it's, you know... It's been really crazy. And the only thing I could put two and two together was um, Ethan taking jabs at me, posting clips. Okay. Posting so she doesn't take anybody's advice. Okay. If she hired an, a PR person, uh, she doesn't listen to them. And honestly, I guess it wouldn't be good for her brand. Part of her brand is to be irritating to listen to. Um, because it keeps us coming back for more. She's trying to explain. She's trying to explain why she kept talking about Ethan in her breakdown. Gabby Hanna does this too. Rather than simply up, just simply apologize for your behavior and apologize to the appropriate people, who meaning. Not just apologizing to your fans because they're concerned, but apologizing to Ethan for dragging him into this. But she's not, she's not going to do that. These type of people will never simply apologize. She's trying to break down to us why she said what she said. She doesn't comprehend that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter why you focused on Ethan, it doesn't matter. Move, we're moved on past that point. We're wanting to, there's only one or two things you want to hear in this video. You want to hear about her false allegations against Mr. R and why she keeps talking about her essay uh, and lying about different aspects of it. She is, she is, what's the word? 
when you dilly dally, when you procrastinate, she's stalling. She is stalling, but what she's using to stall just continues to make her seem insincere because she's talking about something that we don't actually care about or need in-depth explanation of. He has the highlights again, making fun of me, just calling me, you know, the B word, just, just really just jabbing and, um, and, you know, obviously it hurts, but that's fine. You know, I, I made the effort and the announcement and the, just the choice for myself to stop talking about people, period, um, including H3, including anyone. Like, it's just, I don't, I don't want it. Let's see how long that lasts. Um, I do feel this is a little karmatically coming back to me for talking about so many people in front of me. And honestly, if I could take. This is another sign of her inability to take responsibility. Rather than her owning up to her actions, she chalks it up to a mystic universal force called karma. It's karma that's having this happen to her, not her own direct actions, but karma, something indirect for something unrelated to the situation. Because I talked crap about Jason and David, and I talked so much crap about all these other people. She has created a rationale in her head that is allowing her to literally avoid the issue at hand. Back every single thing I said, I like, I would speculating about people's lives. Um, I would talk about situations that I wasn't involved in. Situations I was involved in, I really don't have any regrets about it. If I was there, if I saw something. But talking about situations that I had that I just had no knowledge about or just wasn't there, like I, I regret it. The speculation, all that, it. like it's awful. I remember one of the last couple episodes we talked about um, more details of stuff we don't care about. Mike Malak and Faze Banks, and I was really triggered because they were jabbing at me or whatever. And um, and I did, I misspoke. And Mike had called me that night and said, hey, can we just like stop this? She learned this new word. Where did she learn this word from, misspoke? Who taught her this new word? She's going to use it a lot. Yeah, this is going to be her new word. Mm-hmm. 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 Get your shot glasses ready. Take a shot every time she uses the word misspoke, misspeaking. Mm -hmm. This is her new word. I don't know. I didn't watch that whatever episode she's talking about. But if she was trash talking them, it's called trash talk. It's called I was trash talking about them. I was ish talking. I was talking out my ass. I was. There's so many words for what it actually is, but she wants to sugarcoat this. She's going to refer to any time she says something wrong, she's going to label it as I misspoke. Doesn't this sound just so <laughs> refined? She wishes she was refined. Can we just end this like talk to me? And you know what? They took one phone call for me. Be like, yeah, we will. Anytime someone has asked me, sorry, I'm like shaking, asked me to stop, I will, I will stop talking about them. Um, Does that sound familiar? Anytime someone asks me to stop, I will stop talking about them. <sighs> kind of like how she's upset that Ethan refuses to stop talking about her to clarify her lies. This is exactly what Gabby Hanna does. Gabby Hanna has the same, remember when she said, I always apologize. Anytime I do something wrong, I apologize. Emphasizing that so as to imply that everybody else needs to be that same way. Everybody else has to have that same code of ethics. Trisha thinks that Trisha's code of ethics is if somebody tells you to stop talking about them, you simply stop. 
first of all, she doesn't actually follow that code of ethics because she kept talk. She keeps talking about Ethan. She kept talking about it. So she doesn't actually follow that code of ethics. But here she's giving an example of when she did so that she can feel justified in any trash talk on Ethan because when she asked Ethan to stop, he didn't. Mind you, Ethan is trying to defend himself against what she's saying about him, which makes sense. Um, especially if it's me speaking and, and, you know, this lying thing has come around recently. Like, Trisha lies so much. Here we go. Did you take a shot, by the way? She used the word misspeak again. Much. There's a difference between misspeaking, hearing things and not getting all the facts right, not fact checking and also, uh, versus sharing a, something you know to not be true for the malicious intent of tricking someone or, or making someone look bad. And so. So now she gets to choose the definition of words. She gets to choose what what lying is. Okay, let, let's let's hear her out. I, I get stories mixed up. I hear things from people and I don't fact check. And that was ultimately why I should never have had her. I get stories mixed up. I don't fact check. I'm not going to curse. I'm not going to curse. I need to come up with like squeaky clean versions of the curse words I want to say. But, sweetheart, you told us to Google it. I don't know. I don't know how she can do this with a straight face. She heard wrong. She didn't fact check. So, what compels her to twice, in two instances, Lie on a dude's name. Okay, let me not, let me not, actually, let me, let me use her logic. Misspeak on the dude's name and say, Google it. When you tell us to look him up and Google it, it implies that you have at least done that. That you at least did that. If you're telling us to Google it, we assume you at least Googled it. So no, I don't call that misspeaking. I don't call that misspeaking. I call that... <sighs> sure, her definition of lying is that you, you, you know the truth and you're purposely saying something other than the truth. That's her definition of lying. So let's say that she's being incredibly stupidly careless because I don't know a functional adult that will say such large accusations about somebody be bold enough to tell the world to Google it and you didn't even at least Google it yourself. I had a podcast and she never had been on front of me, but I'm not the only She says, this is why I should never have had a podcast. This is why I should never have been on front of me. This is over flagellation. Like, I'm what Tana Mojo used to do. I know I'm a horrible person. I never should have had an event. I'm so, so dumb. I'm just so naive. No. Trisha, like, have, first of all, have a little bit more self-respect. You are an adult. There's absolutely nothing wrong with you, a working woman, having a podcast. There's absolutely nothing wrong with you, a working person, rather, teaming up with another working person to have a podcast that was very entertaining for many, for literally, like, 
Can I say millions of people? There's nothing wrong with that. What is wrong is this instance of a huge allegation that was incorrect. That's what's wrong. That's, that's what you never should have said. That's what you never should have done. The only person in the world to do that. Having said that, I've never um, lied. She says, I'm not the only person in the world to have done that, to have given really bad, wrong information. Um, no shizzle, Sherlock. We're not talking about any, we're not, we're not talking about anybody else right now. If it, if anybody else did it, we would be just, it's just as egregious, but today you are the topic. I, about any things that have happened to me. I've only felt comfortable enough sharing and stating the name of somebody after I had been told about his, what I said, and I will correct myself, was arrest for CP, which he's actually be fired for what? No, 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 bitch, no. I'm sorry, I literally came out with your mouth. No, no, no. No, 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 I'm finna rewind. I want to the, who, listen. What I said, and I will correct myself, was arrest for CP, which he's actually be fired for watching P in a classroom full of kids. Uh, and she lies again. This is literally another lie. Let me break it down. Let me break it down. Did you notice how she said, oh, I said he had CP, which was actually... Like, she's trying to take what she said and heard and say oh no actually she's like trying to transform it it's like I got water I'm trying to transform it into wine no trick I went up to the wine store and got a bottle of wine and I'm drinking wine it's two different things it's two different liquids those are two different things the Trisha stands drive me insane with this one. They are trying to equate going to jail for CP. They are trying to equate that to watching P in school. Listen. <laughs> okay, that's, I can't, I can't help but laugh. That's, it's just kind of funny. It's funny. It's funny. It's funny watching P in school. But um, th these two things are not at all the same. They're not at all the same. Trisha, you can't mishear that. You can't, you can't, you can't, somebody can't tell you what's going on and you misheard. Okay. Now the second thing, I, listen, I'm claiming that she's lying about that. He saw the P in front of a, a classroom full of kids because listen, I, I don't know everybody who's coming out of the woodworks from that school. Maybe there is somebody who is claiming he watched it in front of a classroom full of kids, but every allegation I have seen hasn't that is not in a classroom full of kids. Every allegation I have seen involves one child stumbling upon an email that was not directed at the at that child. I have not seen an, a, anybody claiming to come from that school claiming that he watched the pee in a classroom full of kids or that a classroom full of kids witnessed it or what have you. I haven't seen the allegation. So I, th I think she's lying. I think this is a lie. I think this is yet again another Trisha Paytas exaggeration to make Mr. R seem even worse than what he potentially was. Um, I never lied. It was a hard thing for me to even say. I never lied. Classroom full of kids. Um, I never lied. It was a hard. Do you see what she did? Did you see what she did? 
First, she made sure to change the definition of what lying is. Then she said she misheard something or somebody told her something, but it was the wrong thing. Then she made sure to say, and I didn't fact check it. With those powers combined, we form, Captain, I'm not a liar. She says, I never lied. I'm doing it. You can't see the video unless you, unless maybe you're playing it on a desert device. But she goes, I never lied. She looks away. I never lied. We are watching Olympic gold medal winning mental gymnastics before our very eyes. This is a master class in how to dodge accountability. Let's say I want to be nice. Let's say I'll say, you know what, Trisha, you didn't lie. You just didn't fact check. That is egregious. But she just kind of stumbled. She just kind of, what's it called? Just glance over it. Like, just sweat it away like it's a little gnat. Like it's inconsequential. It's no matter how you slice it, Trisha, you sound bogus as hell. You sound like a child who got caught with their pants down or something. Who colored on the wall? It wasn't me, Mom. The dog, the dog, the dog had the crayons in their mouth, and, and I was just trying to get it out of their mouth, and that's, and, 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 you know, but it wasn't me. And I don't know. It just sounds like a child. Hard thing for me to even say then, but I felt safe enough to do it because of that reason. So she's saying it was a hard thing for her to say. It wasn't hard. If it was hard, you wouldn't have said it multiple times. So, you stupid. Oh my I've God. only ever felt safe enough to talk about someone when other people are talking about them and you're like, okay. Um, who was talking about them? Who was, who was talking about Mr. R on a public platform? Who? Can you show us who? She said she felt comfortable because other people were talking about him. Who? We didn't even know about Mr. R till you said his name. The only time before this you mentioned his name was in a video where you said you had a crush on him or something. Excuse me, let me not let me not misspeak. I think she said he was a cool teacher, he was nice enough. I don't remember if he's one of the ones she had a crush on. I just want to know who she's talking about that was talking about Mr. R. Who is she talking about? Who, who was talking about him? Who are these people? A lot of it's getting mixed up with what I said is specifically. First and foremost, I, this is family's getting docs. This man in question is deceased and the family is getting harassed, which it's, it's turned into a lot. And the source of all this is the H3 separate. That is. Listen. I, this is family's getting docs. This man in question is deceased and the family is getting harassed, which it's, it's turned into a lot. And the source of all this is the H3 separate. That is without a doubt where it's from. Y'all, we are only four minutes into the, into the, into the mother flicking uh, video. Did you hear what she said? The family is getting docs and the source of all this is the H3 subreddit. I don't know. Do I need to explain how delusional she is? Do I need to explain this one? The source is you saying his name and making the allegations. That is the source. The source is you telling people to look him up. The source is you stating the school he taught at, what year, what's his last name, call to action, Google him. That's the source. Masterclass in dodging responsibility. I mean, um, as in, if hi, we're in this family dealing with Trisha, absolutely 100%, I am never answering your phone call.
I need to actually, I need to do more research on this, on how somebody can boldface lie like this. I, I, I check it like I would check up on a toxic ex-boyfriend trying to figure out we like, know what you're obsessed with what's the happening H3 next subreddit. and that's where all, all of it's stemming from all the information no, it's and not. the harassment and I was just kidding. all the information the information was coming from mysterious T's video that that is what sparks people to open their eyes was a YouTube video not a subreddit getting harassed constantly over the weekend saying apologize to the person because of a video that someone just googled some facts said this person oh because of a video now she's acknowledging the mysterious t video but i thought she said it was all from a subreddit and is this this and this saying their name so it's like google some facts so she's saying all this person did was google some facts trisha that is the least of what you could have done yeah, this person Googled some facts like you should have. You should have Googled some facts. She says it in a dismissive way like it doesn't mean anything. It means a lot because if you had Googled some facts, you wouldn't be in this situation right now. Said so this person is this, this, and this, saying their name. So it's sending more hate to the family, saying their hate. So now she's shaming Mysterious T for saying Mr. R's name. You, does she not understand that we wouldn't even know his name if you hadn't said it? Name to me, which was just beyond triggering, because here's the thing. Sending more hate to the family, saying their hate name to me, which was just beyond triggering, because here's... Okay, she's also now claiming that Mysterious T sent hate to her, to Trisha. Now, I, don't rec I actually recall Mysterious T saying, do not send hate to Trisha. I hope I hope I'm remembering that right. She may, maybe it was a live channel, a live chat that she said that. I don't recall her actually. I can guarantee she never says go and address Trisha, go and hate on Trisha. Here's the thing: I never thought any of this was a problem. I thought stuff it, it relation. Hmm. She never thought lying on a dude is a problem. We know, we, we can tell. We can tell you still don't think it's a problem. Relationships I had with teachers and older professionals my entire life as a, as a child, as a minor, as a teenager was fine. No one talked about it. No one said it wasn't like, and even for me, I never felt trauma. I've talked about this numerous. We don't care. She's trying to explain how she never thought a teacher touching her was a problem. We don't give a damn. We don't give a damn. We didn't ask you. We didn't ask you to share your your essay, whether it was traumatic or not traumatic. We didn't ask you, and we still not asking you. First times, I never thought it was trauma. I never thought it was trauma until I started unpacking it. And I was like, oh, this might be the reason. For but here's the thing. I don't care if you never thought it was trauma. You have now unpacked it. She said, I never thought it was trauma until I started unpacking it. You have now unpacked it, and you're still sharing freely your trauma and telling different stories about it so we don't know what story to believe and you're wanting us to just believe everything that you're saying about your personal issues that is your personal issues and you're mad that we're questioning why your story is different no you can't say i never thought it was trauma as if that means anything until i unpacked it you you know, you done unpacked it so literally what you're saying doesn't it's not relevant for this i switched school districts five different times don't care i went to byron school district up until the age of 14 and i switched for a different reason that was also misconduct yeah we um, know that you did i heard the rumors there's lots of rumors about how trisha was when she was in school um yeah she did have apparently she had behavior problems so i i have i have not that it's relevant. No sympathy for what I said. I have no sorrow for that. I just, I just wish literally families weren't getting harassed and also I wasn't getting harassed. No, you know, she doesn't give a damn about no families getting harassed. What she does wish is that she wasn't getting harassed. We know, we, we know you don't want to be harassed. We know. You made it very clear on Sunday. Doesn't matter. For it. This is why I will never talk about ever again any of my... 
even if someone comes out with stories about teachers or professionals medical yo i so wanna i so wanna do this faster let's see let's see if we can i hope y'all can catch what she's saying i'm just i need, i want to speed it up a little bit professionals in in multiple school districts i had conversation i'll never say anything anymore because of this reason because of the backlash i was always scared of it before she's claiming that she will never talk about her essay anymore i hope so because that is a a personal issue and at this point, it's you're not really empowering anybody. Um, <laughs> I mean, you've already done spilled the beans on a, a lot of apparent essays. So, you know, if you're empowering people to come out, you, you've 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 done your part. Um, I don't believe her though. I don't believe she's ever going to talk about it again. It seems like she cannot. She is, it really seems like she can't help herself. Before and now again not that it's relevant this is again she's just trying to dance away from responsibility she is rambling about things that we're not asking for we don't care about this is not what we asked her to address it just, it just proves my point that no matter what i say now someone did come out a former classmate of mine which is it's easily verifiable that this was a classmate we were in the exact same class the same year you can find it in a yearbook and see it there was yearbook pictures back then and this person came out their twitter account was established in 2012 everyone's accused first accused me of making up this account She's talking about Morgan, I think. Um, I don't know. I don't have time to verify if they were in the same class or whatever. I don't know. Um, I'm sure there are people who are out there verifying, triple checking. Um, but you see how she's like, first they were trying to say that it was me. First, first they were trying to say that was my account. Again, she, don't, she doesn't care about anybody else but herself. She's trying, she's bringing up, how, how many of us even knew that people were accusing this Morgan of being Trisha? It's not, it's not a lot of people who even know about Morgan, let alone knew that, that people thought at a point it was Trisha, but she's bringing it up to make herself look like, see, like, look how wrong you are about me. Here's an example of where you were wrong about me. Why would I make up an account in 2012 with one of somebody I went to school with's name? And then there was saying, oh, well, she's actually dead. And Trisha bought this account to say, no, this person. Who you I hear the BS? Honest, because they went private and then they came back by. You know, she's still trying to over explain really personal information to verify the they were who they said they were. Their dad is prominent in this town. And she, this person shared all that information, um, shared text messages with other people we went to school with talking about this incident. And basically just saying, yeah, like he. He was creepy, just like I said. I mean, grab me. Okay. Basically saying, yeah, he was creepy, just like what I said. No, ma'am, that's not what you said. What you said is that he had CP and he went to jail for it. What you said is he was rubbing his junk. What you said is that <laughs> you said a lot of different things, okay? I'm not going to, I can't even remember. I, I can't remember. I can't keep up. But you said a lot of different things. This Morgan person has said has said the same thing consistently and has been reaching out to other people to verify what they remember. She didn't, she, it's not just like what you said. It's not, it's not just like what you said. Okay. Uh, there's way more severe stories that happened with other people, but this particular situation, you know, same situation, we you know, during the game, all this stuff. And then, you know, he did get fired for. It's not the same situation because you've described the same situation about 50 million different ways. So it's not the same. You, you, do, you see, do you see what she's trying to do? She has made whatever accusation she's made about this teacher and what happens during the game, none of which has sounded like what Morgan said. Morgan said he rubs your shoulders. Trisha has never, that has never been the experience Trisha claims to have had. But now Trisha's trying to say, no, actually, it's exactly what, what, what Morgan said. That's what Trisha's trying to say now. Do you see, y'all see why we can't, like, it's like nothing that she say we can trust. It's like you don't know when she's making sense and when she's not making sense. It's weird. It's weird. It's like there are times where she'll say something and it's like, wait a second, why is Trisha Paytas making sense? But here's maybe here's what it is. 
Because I noticed, I noticed the same thing with Gabby Hanna and Tana Mojo as well. It's like when it comes to assessing other people's situations where, where they are completely in the clear or almost completely in the clear, they didn't do anything wrong, there's no my culpa, there's no responsibility, there's no expectations of them. It's in those situations where they can speak out and actually what they're saying is the truth. But when it comes to them, when it comes to their personal situations, it's like all hell breaks loose. You don't know what's up and what's down. And then people are making excuses for that even. There's no matter what I say, it'll never be good enough. And now that someone's come forward, I'm... No matter what I say, it'll never be good enough. You hear the overflagulation? It doesn't matter what I do. Remember when she tweeted, I don't know what you guys want me to do. Do you want me to unalike myself? No, Trisha, we want you to apologize where appropriate and tell us the truth. That's what we want. But it's like that rational, it's not available. It's not available. The rationality is not there. It's not that when it comes to her personal situation, much like what we've seen before, I don't know what is Tana Mojo doing that she's been able to keep out of this type of messiness. Um, but I don't know. Maybe hang out with her more. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but we've seen this with, with many people before. When YouTubers make fake apologies, yada, 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 you know. It's like they will say whatever they need to say to withhold their own accountability. She's saying no matter what, she's trying to make it sound like there's nothing she can do to, to for people to believe her or, or feel like she makes sense. When actually there is, it's very simple. It's apologize for misspeaking and, um, you know, give us, tell the truth about your essay or simply say it was my mistake for even speaking about my essay in public. Just acknowledge, you know what, actually, like literally as simple as just acknowledge the BS, just acknowledge it. Like if you, if she simply acknowledged what's going on, that would be a huge step. So that's not true. There's nothing that I can say. That's not true. There actually is some very simple things you can say for people to be on your side. That person's getting harassed. Well, first they think it's me, but now there's an actual person getting harassed. Her actual family is getting harassed. Okay. Now she's trying to shame other people. For harassing Morgan. Listen, when you when you get caught up in drama, it's gonna come, unfortunately. That's but that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is not to not even to bring up Morgan. Her dad, and yes, she put out the information to be like, look, this is me, this is like this is but now they're getting harassed. I try to follow her as of today to at least reach out and just at least say thank you. I kind of want to skip. Can we skip? No, or let me not just, skip. Let me not skip. Let me just fast she, forward. She did say like, you know, no, he wasn't arrested. And, um, and the person who told me originally, they also had instances with, you know, similar in our sphere. And so thank you for, you know, she had a, a different thing and different reaction and all this like that. But it just felt like this is a person. And I remember the name instantly. And I remember her dad instantly. You know, she's this is a person. I haven't talked to anyone from Byron, Illinois. Yo, she's still talking about Morgan. Hold on, we gonna let's let's fast forward more. In in fifteen, um, twenty years probably. If you want to be specific, probably nineteen years. I'm not anyway. I moved out. I moved away when I was fourteen. My mom let me come live with my dad in California because of a situation that happened. And when I was fourteen, and I switched schools a lot. You know, I again, this, I don't want anyone getting harassed in situation. Not someone from board. It's not good enough. It's like oh, just a random person, which can easily be verified in our yearbooks. Um, I hear rumors that this situation changed, and that's also be verified. There's so many. Yo, she's repeating herself. We got a two. We got a two times speed this one because we coming up on an hour, and I got work. I got work in the morning. Things that can be verified, you know. Oh. I didn't feel comfortable talking about it further. The time when I mentioned it on the podcast, like I was, I was talking about that therapy at the time. I was needed. I was upset, and I don't talk about it because part of me is like. Okay, 
So she says, I don't feel comfortable talking about it. That's a lie. She's talked about it several times. So you're comfortable enough to talk about it several times on, uh, on three different platforms, uh, at least two platforms. Um, but she says, I was he- the time I mentioned it on the podcast, I was heated in the moment. Remember when I said she can't help herself? So here she is kind of sharing, verifying that she can't help herself. She's heated in the moment. She couldn't help herself. That's why I don't believe she's ever going to talk on this stuff again. I think she will. Um, I don't think, she, I, lit- I think she literally cannot help herself. Listen, it, that's, that's just what I think, just based on her pattern of behavior. A lot. There's a lot of emotions. You know, part of me's like, oh, it wasn't that bad. Like, I laughed. I thought it was funny. I liked attention. Like, you know, stuff like that. And part of me's like, no, it wasn't. And after this weekend, just seeing it, spam, spam, spam. And also the, the note from Ethan and then the text from Ethan being like, you know, you have to make a statement about this. And I was just like, it's, it, that start, it started the, the panic mode in me. It was the fire flight that kicked off. And I was just like, oh my gosh. And I, I really started feeling like I did do something wrong in this situation. Did y'all catch that? Hold on. Let me slow it down so you can hear. I really started feeling like I did do something wrong in this situation. I really started feeling like I did do something wrong in this situation. Is that loud and clear enough for you? She doesn't believe she did anything wrong. We are not even halfway through this video. We're going to continue to 2x this because I mean I I don't know do I need to keep breaking down every little thing because I think like in the first nine minutes I think we're getting the gist right and I I don't think the family deserves to be harassed or anything like that I don't think a person who came to my defense but that's the thing no one else will ever come forward about anything because they get harassed their family's harassed it's a small town like and it's why I never have She says nobody else will come forward about anything because their families will get harassed. We're not talking about other people. We're talking about you and what you said. I never will. I, never, I will never talk about it again after this. And I really don't want to. Like I said, I really felt pressured when I read those text messages. So. Oh, okay. She, so she, she is referring. She's referring to Ethan's text message. She felt pressured to make this video because she reread Ethan's text message that said you need to come out with a statement. She felt she felt pressured. The rereading it is made her feel pressured. Get the hell out of here. Go to that real quick. You know, I released those text messages because I sent a huge paragraph. This was my first communication with Ethan Hila, and and it was it was down. It was the whole the whole crew. That was my first communication ever since the end of things. Um, aside from the last. Y'all just get a snack. Get a snack. I don't want to skip because. You know, maybe you'll hear something that I missed or something. So I don't want to skip. But, you know, we got another 10 minutes. Get a snack. Last episode Friday's that we filmed, you know, where I apologize again there. I, you know, I was like, this is my early communication. No, they never reached out. I reached out. And it was so just, it was a day where all of it just, it just, it just escalated more and more. You know, I'll, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just briefly touch on this again because I don't want any more further harassment on this for anyone involved. But this is the way I talk about this the most in real life. You know, I pop and address all these things. These text messages from a year and a half ago. Before we ever started, even hooking up, way before starting, we started dating August first. When I first met him on March fifteenth, we were just hooking up. I was doing only fans, I was doing all that stuff that summer. We didn't start dating until August first. But regardless, stuff before we even met, that's come out. Just like you know, I mean, we discussed it. We met. I'm the first to say we had a toxic AF relationship. You know, he did some toxic shit. I did, and it took us so much in-depth therapy, and just I, I have no idea how we stuck it out through everything. I'm not sure. I don't know how, but she's and not talking through it, about and, Moses. You know, we've gotten through it, but no one else will. She's talking about her relationship with Moses. Okay, the only thing people want to hear about Moses is. Why are you not believing the victims who claim he has saved them? I know there's people talking about, oh, is he cheating, this and that. No, nobody really cares, girl. Ain't nobody really give a damn. If you want to be with a dude who's using you, then be with a dude who's using you. That's just my opinion, okay? (laughs) That's just my opinion. If you want to be with a weird guy then be with a weird guy that's up to you we don't give a damn but what we do care is are there victims at play that you're just brushing aside that's what we want to hear addressed let's see let's see how she does hold up 
Is that why? Is that why this is thirty minutes? Let's see how she dodges this one. Oh, let's get through it. And we also, I've also the first episode of Frenemies was all about there was multiple people that catfished him, and they, you know, and one person he ended up meeting up with one time, and um, this person from the day I posted the first, first picture of me and Moses has been trying to get my attention, been trying to communicate with me. Um, you know, I would see all the texts that this person sent Moses about me saying that they followed me for ten years. They they are watching my OnlyFans. They think they see his hand. They're doing like all this stuff that was very detailed into knowing stuff about me, being like you know she, uh, she ruins every relationship. Just really just drag. Okay, I think she's talking about Daphne Moses's ex. Daphne sent Moses a lot of texts. I mean, very much like the, oh my gosh, I thought you loved me. We should be together. She's not going to treat you right. You know what I mean. But see how, bruh, is Trisha a narcissist? I need to do a little bit more research about narcissism. But she really, I mean, so far this video has been, I know I talk a lot about the BPD symptoms that I see, the, and again, like, cause I, <laughs> I've had people in my life with BPD. I understand why peep that diagnosis is scary, but they're not all like Trisha. They're not all chronic liars. This is, this is something that can be explained with BPD, but it's not, just exclusive to BPD, and I see those symptoms, but right now this video sounds like the video of an overt narcissist. Like, it, it really does. Is Trisha Paytas a narcissist? What really kind of solidified that in my mind right now with this video is how she took the rantings and ramblings of Moses's ex. And she turned it into this person was trying to get my attention and was obsessed with me. Sorry, I have to flex a little bit. I have to flex this necklace. Sorry. It's so cute. She, um, she's, she's turning it into the person was obsessed with me. Now she's going to explain how they're obsessed with Moses, but she had to also let it be known they were obsessed with me, though. It's not that Moses is entertaining another woman behind my back. It's that this woman is actually obsessed with me. That's the tea I'm getting. Dragging me down from just posting pictures of us. We were just hooking up. We were just being friends. And of course, I, of course, I, con I confirmed Moses. Do you guys know who I am? You know what I mean? I was like, do you have a He showed me all the texts. He's like, drawing me here. Like, this is... This isn't working out. We met once. This wasn't working out. Like, I was like, okay, cool. That was a month, month or so before we met. And so it's just none of my place, you know, right? Like, why am I going to talk about something that happened before me? We didn't, I did address those, their text messages that we don't care about me this. before we met. And I, you know what? That's all I think to overcome. Just like my, my thing. She's confusing. She thinks just because the T channels keep talking about this, she thinks that's what the mob cares about. We don't care about that. We don't care about that. My, my altercation with Moses, like, that was for public, public viewing right on the first episode of Frenemies I, I we don't want that they were private it was private before them but hey it was out there and I'll take ownership of it but we 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 both were very toxic and we worked past it and we're not at this place where it's just like it's really amazing I stand by Moses he stands by me like it's this place where there is just like I the therapy we've gone through and the, the, the walls we've broken have been insane stuff that happened before me I, I'm not gonna comment on Moses has commented on it and I, I can't comment on that stuff this person who I just and just talked to, I have sympathy and empathy. I understand when a situation doesn't work out and you like wish it would. You know, I, I would see the text and I could, I could feel the pain like why are you with Trisha? She's this, this and this. Why are you not with me? Why would you give me a chance? Why are you, you know I, I understood that I understood it, you know um like I understood that and so I, I did have I had sympathy but now it's gone too far where I'm, I'm still getting harassed this isn't really about Moses because she's this person's catfishing me as, as as recent as five days ago um insinuating that he cheated he cheated while we were together with her did you hear that saying and well, so, like, she's repeating much verbatim. she's repeating it again she said this this person who's messaging Moses it's not about Moses it's still about me and I'm getting harassed Come, she so far she hasn't mentioned how she accused this girl of lying, and she's said some things about this about this chick that's causing people to go harass her. Um, people are now harassing Moses, <laughs> but is this is all about me? It's she's she's mess she's texting Moses because of me. Um, I'm suffering the harassment.
at mentioning me, at Trisha Paytas back up. Um, just remember when you kiss him at the altar where his nose was been when you thought he was being loyal to you. Just like stop. And this is it's just still about me. She's trying to make me jump. That I'm just like, okay. And it just escalated. It's just not escalated out of control because I just wouldn't give attention to it. And I, I can't give attention to it. I can't give attention to something that's, I mean, something that has nothing to do with me. But this person has been from, again, from the day I posted a photo, I was like, if you're going to steal my man, like, at least follow me. Like, it's always about follow me. Do this. Like, and again, I understand. I understand. I've been there too. I wanted to be more. It's, it's awful when someone like, moves on or something like that. But, you know, it, I, I read every single text message all like that. And again, something that happened before me, I, I don't I don't have the space to say. But why is your main focus on me, on talking about me? People are getting that confused with like, a different catfish that wasn't her personal account. Who admitted this? I know her real identity. This person has also followed me for 10 years. Um, she had a fake account that she was catfishing. I, the reason I was able to catch that was because I went to this old form of kind of the subreddit. Woo, like, y'all, I'm so sorry. I did not know this video was so full of bullshit. I did not know. Yo, I did not know. Yo, I did not know. I did not know. Yo, I did not know it was possible to have this much BS. As if I'm like, how am I supposed to talk about in the I video? Like, already spoken piece about this. I already said it. People, you know, I'm not hypocritical. But I do think like, this is the very reason why someone who's 23, 24, but she's not in a relationship. And, 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 I'm hold up, hold up. Like, okay. Why people talk about it? Because the emotional, the, the regulation is just not there. Did you hear and, her? And, and, not this person's fault, but it is. She said, I'm not hypocritical. This is the very reason why I think somebody who's 23 should not be in a relationship with somebody much older. What's the reason why, Trisha? I'm I'm interested. What is happening in the situation that is the reason why? When it's just becoming harassing to a person that's not even involved in this. This is why I preach it so hard, but because the emotional, the, the regulation is just not there. And again, not this person's fault, Ooh, but it is when it's just becoming harassing to the Uh-uh. She dissed her. She said the emotional... Trisha Paytas, of all people, is saying... The emotional regulation is not there. This person, hold up. <laughs> she said, I don't, people who are 23 should not date people who are younger. The emotional regulation is not there. This person, and it's not showing up. This is the person. Well, damn, you can't even see it. It's her crying face. There you go. There you go. That's the person who's saying the emotional regulation is not there. No, no, no. Daphne's emotional regulation is just not there. Now, Trisha Paytas in her 30s, it's there. Not Daphne, though. Yo, this is a freaking trip, bro. A person that's not even involved in this and it becomes harassment and it becomes just antagonizing and just, just. But what's funny is if it's somebody else, if it's a, another man dating somebody that's 23, she d does not have anything negative to say about the young person, only negative things to say about the older man. But notice there's no, there's no, Moses shouldn't have dated her. There's no accountability she's putting on Moses because it's, it's because it's her man. Because the rules don't apply to her nor her man. Misspeakings, you know, just the, that. Did you take a shot? Misspeakings. Good Lord. Who taught her that word? I need to find out. Somebody let me know. Who taught Trisha the word misspoken, misspoke, misspeak, misspeaking? Whoever, whoever taught her that word, I got a bone to pick with you. I really do. There was cheating or something involved. There, there wasn't. I read through everything. Like, there's multiple texting. We met one time. There's no cheating. There's no cross laughing, all that stuff. But um, again, there's just when there's so much coming at you, you're just like overwhelmed. And, and then there is a point where there's just so much you just have to get up because even after this video, there will be ten times, twenty times more things. And I, unlike a lot of other people, are, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not slave to the Reddit. You know what I mean? I'm not just going to. Whatever they need to make attention. I know this is just a like, and, and it's a big form, by the way. What did she just say? Things. And I, unlike a lot of other people, are I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a slave to the Reddit. You know what I mean? I'm not just going to. I'm not a slave to the Reddit. You just said you stalk that Reddit like a toxic ass boyfriend. What do you mean you're not a slave to the Reddit? The hell are you talking about? You the only person on that Reddit, girl. <laughs> the way you sound. Whatever they need to be attention to. And I know this is just a, like, and it's a big form, by the way. Hr Reddit has five hundred thousand users. It's very big. Um, they they do. I'm not a slave to the Reddit, but I stalk like a toxic ex-boyfriend. Okay. 
having said that, like I noticed the flare ups happen again when as mentioned. So I I sent a I sent a big long paragraph. Bro, she's everybody. still talking about the text message she sent to Ethan. Yo. <laughs> Yeah, we watching this. This is either going to get deleted or she's going to do another video. If she does another video, I'm not reacting to it. I'm not going to post a reaction. But I did want to post this because it's titled Addressing Everything. It's her first time back since the breakdown. And some people really thought they were going to get some Ariani. They really thought they were going to get some Ariani. They really thought they were going to get some... Chloe breaking it down on the VMAs. They really thought they were gonna get Normani on Tiana Taylor. They really thought they were gonna get something. They thought they were gonna get something, and I just have to break it down let you know that Trisha delivers nothing ever. Trisha delivers dust. Because you know it's the crew making jokes and you know editing and putting sound bites in, and, stuff, and I'm just like. And I'm pleading because at this point I'm like I'm I'm breaking right I'm breaking. Not to say other people I'm, I'm not saying there's other people that aren't suffering from this. She's talking, um, yo. She's talking to us like we're girlfriends. That's how she's talking to us. Yeah, Trisha has something off in her head where she doesn't understand that we are not her friends, we are not her family, we are not her loved ones, we are not her trusted uh, inner circle. She's talking to us like we're girlfriends at brunch. Like, oh my gosh, girl, tell me what happened. That's how she's talking to us right now. That's that's how she's talking to us right now. That's why I say she needs to go. She needs to do like Onision, like Gabby Hanna. Just talk to the people who want to be your friends. Go talk to those people on your OnlyFans and your Patreon and your members only. Talk to those people because the rest of the internet the literal entire globe that now has access to this video, we are not your friends. And you're going to sit there crying. Why won't they stop harassing me? Um, I'm breaking, you know, Moses now has these like extremely, an ex and one extremely allegation, a serious allegation, but now it's just like, it's filtering into his work and people are tweeting and just like really taking a really strong mm -hmm. allegation, which now has to be done now we have to deal with it legally, right? Like, as it should be at, at this point, because now it is affecting work. It's not just a rumor. It's not all, like, you know what I mean? And it's an allegation and it will be addressed and it will be addressed, like, it has to be addressed legally and not on for public spectacle display and back and forth and all this like that. Well, that's what you're but doing just, like, right okay, now. It's getting way too far. Right? So I bet, like, Moses's exes, his past, everything has been dug up that you could find and posted on this Reddit. And it's been... You know, Actually, Moses posted his own screenshot. And you are talking about the situation even more, actually. Like, the, the digging... Moses... If, if people on this subreddit are digging, Moses brought a shovel to the party. Mom, there's been stuff that... Like, there's just... It's... it's And now this. And, like, I, this, this family's being harassed. And, like, now this girl that I went to school with I had to talk to in years. Like, yeah, you don't give dang. a damn about no families being harassed. It's, it's, it's just going too far. So I just begged and pleaded and I said... And again, coming just from a place where I'm like, I'm hoping we can all, can we all just agree to stop? Because again, whenever I talk well, to someone. If you want all to agree to stop, it kind of helps if you stop. Like that, that would help. If you want us all to agree to stop, you got to take the first step. Somebody has to take the first step. And since you the one who cares so much about it all stopping then it logically makes sense that you take the first step and make it stop. But she can't do that. She is not capable. The capability is not available. And we've been able to squash the beef, right? Like It's not know, a beef. She still thinks this is a game. She thinks this is about a beef with Ethan Klein. Do you do you hear do y'all hear this? She's obsessing over a subreddit. And she thinks the solution to people not discussing her in a Reddit forum will be to squash a beef with Ethan Klein. She doesn't remember all that she's done to Ethan Klein for there to be a supposed beef. She's done a lot. Too much for me to even remember in this video, but there's lots of T channels that documented it.
And her way to try to squash the beef is to cry hysterically and lie saying, I stopped talking about her. I stopped talking about you. And then she come out with this video today talking about him and talking about da Daphne. Is her name Daphne? Talking about Moses' ex. So what? Just the, the whole plan is a hot mess. Oh, we talked in person, the beef was squashed. Uh, Faze Banks, I was able to apologize to him, talking person, beef was squashed, and I, um, I want to feel the same for Keemstar. And I'm not, I'm not team Keemstar, he has any members, I'm not team Keemstar. He, he riles me up the same way on Sunday morning. He sent me the old texts from Moses, and I was like, this is old news, addressed it, and I was like, the beginning of it. Talking about Keemstar? But, you know, there was a time where I begged Keemstar to stop, and he wanted, and I'm like, I'm begging and I'm pleading. If someone asks me, I stop. But if someone's begging and See what I told you? See what I told you? Remember when earlier she was talking about, oh, somebody asked me to stop, so I stopped. And, she, and now she's trying to say, oh, because I did it that one time to this unrelated person. Um, these guys need to do it for me now. But Ethan just tweeted, Trisha needs to stop lying about me. And she ain't going to stop. Pleading. I just can't fathom. So I just thought this is the this is the best way. I have my communication. I'm going to just do it. Like, of course, they're going to be like, yes, for everybody's sake, this is the best. Like, it's getting out of hand. But instead, it was met with like, you No. If if that's what it would be, if it would if if it would be, of course this is best for everybody, then you would have stopped. You would you would have stopped. If 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 you really thought they were gonna say, of course this is best for everybody, then you would have had that same response also. No trick, you thought you could fake cry on the internet. You try to call Ethan so you can scream and cry in his ear. And you thought that trick that works with your daddy, girl, that works with your daddy, maybe works with your mommy. It doesn't work with other adults that you work with and live life with. No, that's not how we come to agreements. Here in adult land, that's not what we do. Now, don't tell me you thought, oh, they would say, of course. That's not what you were thinking. You were thinking they're going to break down because, oh, my gosh, Trisha's crying. We don't want her to cry anymore. You thought you could make them feel guilty because your daddy taught you, your mama taught you that if you make somebody feel guilty, you get what you want. That's not how it works in the real world. You need to make a statement and you don't get to tell us what to do and it's too little too late i've apologized private text first i apologized via video i apologized in person and then you took it back and it's just not enough too little too you late. took I, it I back on video you took back your apology until it's too late until so, until the worst you know it, it's not too late until it's too late until the worst what's the worst trisha um you she needs to stop threatening this worst she needs to stop implying she's gonna unalive herself this is manipulation one on one. And it was just, I was just met with coolness. And I, the first text back was, just so you know, this isn't a. You, got, you have to be cold, by the way. The way Ethan and Yila responded, they're, they're still rookies when it comes to dealing with manipulators. I say they're rookies because they, a part of them still think, not honestly, no. They're rookies because they're doing what anybody would do, which is you just can't take it anymore. You just got to give them a piece of your mind. Hila gave her a piece of her mind. But now that she did, the only thing you can do is stone, is stone cold them. I forgot. It's called stone. It's called rock them out, stone, stone them out, gray stone them, gray them, which is where you literally you are cold no feeling and yo when you're when you have to do this to somebody you care about it hurts oh my god it hurts like if you if somebody you actually care about is behaving like trisha and you have to stone them out and you just want to tell them oh my gosh i wish you knew how much i care about you but if you did, they're gonna manipulate again. You and you, all all you can do is stone cold them out. 
and it trains them. It starts training them. It starts letting them know my tactics don't work with this person. It, it, um, yeah, this is what you do. This is what you do with narcissists. <laughs> yeah, Trisha Paytas is a narcissist. This is exactly the technique that you have to do with a narcissist. Yeah, and it's really hard. It, t- it takes practice. It's hard. Like for a narcissist, because when it, when you start stone holding out a narcissist, they start trying. They start trying every tactic they can to try to get a rise out of you. And you know the amateur will rise. Okay, <laughs> if somebody is trying to push every button, they're gonna eventually push the button that makes you like, oh my god. But with practice and understanding that this person. Narcissists have the same kind of thing that some people with BPD have where they, they don't have an identity. Uh, with narcissists, it's just it's strong in the in the needing to suck like a like you know, have heard of energy vampires? Kind of like that. They they need it. And it's like an insatiable black hole. And it, it when you start to understand that they literally, it can't be helped. Like their, their mind is just wired this way. The only thing that can change it is for them to accept that they need help and take it very seriously and consistently. And that's the only thing you can do. So in the meantime, you have to do, you have to stone them, stonewall them, excuse me, stone them, please don't take that out of context, you have to stonewall them, and the more practice, and the more you understand this person's mind, the easier it becomes, I highly recommend the book, crap, what is that book that, that I was reading, let me look real quick, Don't you love it when things are not where they're supposed to be? The book is called Stop Walking on Eggshells by Paul T. Mason and Randy Kreger. Highly, highly recommend that book. It will help you. If you have somebody like Trisha Paytas in your life, read this book. You, it will just open your eyes a private chat so this can be made public so right away i'm having flashbacks to my text being taken out of context my text being um wrong we gotta do double time it's almost an hour and a half this is it sent me into an absolute panic i I, when they were when they were back you can't tell what you're doing i'm just asking i'm just pleading i don't know i did i stopped talking about them i don't want to continue this i made up there so many times and all i asked was can you just not mention us because it flares up this whole hatred and and they said no and when i tried to call and they said everything writing and moses talking at the very end you said we'll be cordial with you and they said nope that's what you get when you're married that was the words i was like Wow, like at this point, I'm like, oh, I'm literally not a human. I am literally just, that's what you get. I had a call and they said everything in writing. And then Moses talked to him and at the very end, you know, he's like, we'll be cordial with you. And he's like, he's talking about church. And he's like, nope, that's what you get when you're married to Jesus. That was the words verbatim. I was like, wow, like at this point, I'm like, I'm literally not a human. I am literally just an enemy, a target. Okay, so she says at the end, Moses joined the chat and said, we can be cordial, just stop talking about Trisha. And they said, no, that's what you get when you marry Trisha Paytas. And she's just so surprised, like, wow, I'm not a person anymore. Unfortunately, that's how they have to look at you to to even cope with you. Unfortunately, they have to, yeah, they have to block you out. They have to for their own sanity and honestly, for their own safety. Because Trisha has shown herself to be dangerous on multiple occasions with different people. Um, yeah. It, I, I'm sure it doesn't feel good for Trisha. Um, but until she gets adequate help, there's nothing else that they can do. I don't, and I tweeted, I don't know what people want from me. Obviously, I know they want me and Moses to break up. That's, that's. Wow. 
She's still pulling this, I don't know what people want from me. People saying, can you hold yourself accountable? Is doesn't explain it to her. Why, why doesn't that register in her mind? Yeah. A, a world where she has to take accountability, it just simply cannot exist. That's why she does, that's why she's saying she doesn't know. Because when we tell her, it can't exist. Literally never going to happen. Like, we have gone through so much at this point. Like, it's not happening. They want me off the internet. I've been on the internet since 2006, long before most people doing this. I want to, I work online. I'm not leaving. I want to live harmoniously. And again, if this is karma coming my way for frenemies and, and years again, talking about karma, investment, I, then no accountability. I'm, 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 I take it, I take it. And I like, I actually like, thank the universe for teaching me this lesson because in, like, I think it's universe. life for me. It is, it can be life for me. Universe. And when it's, when it's just, when it's like the fact that I can see these videos and how they could like just look it up and be like, well, this person is this. So they can't possibly do this. Like the, the logic just by someone Googling it. I've had contradictions. I've misspoken. I've heard things that weren't true. I've, you know, heard things and have it backtracked. No yes, accountability. There's very reason again why I don't need a podcast. Why I don't want... And the I don't, only thing about, like, that she's holding herself to is I didn't fact check it. And she brushes over it like, like that's nothing. I know about like talking about their relationship and their family like that is damaging and harmful to so many parties when you're not involved which is another reason like, I just can't speak on things when I'm not there when I'm not present like I don't I can't speak on things that happened when I wasn't around like and then the other option people want I guess is just for really truly they just want me to, to not be here to not be alive and, and I'm thankful that I am like I consider myself a pretty strong she's mentally, pulling, mentally she's pulling the right unalive card um, again I'm on antipsychotics and I have a psychotic breakdown and that's not good and um damn yeah she's not changing it's just it's, it's always something you know I'm and that, and there, like I said, there is parts of the internet that are just, they're always going to talk and, and drop. But now this is like a really serious situation. There's lots of serious things at play. And now we're demanding people to speak when they're not comfortable and people are speaking, but then now we're like harassing them into, and then the person deactivated their account was scared. And they're like, oh, must be trash. Where did this person all time? It's because you must harass them. They probably show you information. Like, this is real, but no one, no one wants to no one wants to report on that. No one wants to believe that. As far as me, I, I am done talking. Like, this has escalated to a point of, it just, it just escalated to a point where I wasn't going to keep talking about it, but then I saw this person being harassed for defending me. And I was like, it's not defending me, just sharing their own experience, being like, no, he wasn't. Yeah, arrested. it's funny how uh, she was fired for somebody trying to correct Trisha is defending like a vastly different correction that can't be proven at this point until we get HR records. Uh it's funny how she thinks that's in defense of her. Watching it, she thinks it's in defense of her because she's she's thinking, oh, actually, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. What they said is actually what I meant. <laughs> yeah, she's a narcissist. Damn. I, w I didn't even, I haven't even been viewing Trisha from that, from that lens until now, until this video. You know, very small town, a lot of people. I don't think anyone back there. I'm shocked that anyone would even, you know, come forward and be like, yeah, this, is, this person is on the street because I just I didn't have any friends back there. I, I never oh, had any friends. So like, sorry, I'm shocked. This is so I'm boring. Thankful, you know, because it's not until someone else. If you're still that watching, to kudos to you. I think I never spoke about when I'm no, still anywhere. You know, I was there for hand. It wasn't until like someone else came forward. But and, and that's fine. And I have I have zero credibility on the internet. And again, that's fine. I will I will believe and trust. I will stop talking about any past experiences I've had. Mentioning any, like, I'm, it, it's so scary. The the harassment is so scary. It's so, it's honestly so triggering. I've seen the name over and over and saying upon your and you're just like, you start to believe that you did something wrong. And I said, whoa, I, I've never been the victim in any of this. I, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm pleading for something to stop. That if I, I started it, if, I, you know, if I'm seeing it, if I'm, if I'm going, wrong. okay, I will take all that responsibility. You know, I just like anything to make, to just ask you just to stop. Because she had to talk her, she, she says she started to believe that maybe she did something wrong and she had to talk herself out of it. It's crazy. It is such a big fan base and it's full of hatred and it's really, it's really dark hatred and now they're taking something that's spinning into this on my animals and it's becoming it's becoming too much I checked today on the Reddit now it's all animals and show your pets just spam down everything I see there's been post removed I screenshot everything there's been post removed trying to it's not us it's it's you know it's Trisha Spams too it's like okay, okay there's crossover but it's on that Reddit you know it's just and I know they see it I know they monitor it I know they it's like she's saying well there's crossover oh it's not our fans it's Trisha's fans she's saying there's crossover but it's on that Reddit she doesn't understand that there are multiple subreddits like there's like, it's not just the H3 subreddit that exists. There are other red subreddits that exist. And there are other ways people are communicating about this issue, like YouTube. People are communicating about it on YouTube and on Discord. 
It's like she it's like she acts like those things don't exist. Then everyone sees it and just like I just want to be able to breathe and not have to worry. I had the biggest again just breakdown where I just thought, oh my gosh, like all of it, just shame on you, shame, shame. And I was like, that's what for me. And I was just like, I, I didn't do anything. I just don't know where to go with here. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. She is she's out of it. All of this right now. How do I prove something? How do I it's just a lot. I just needed a minute. I just needed someone to be like, okay, we'll stop talking, but it's just it's really, it's really harmful, it's really dangerous, and I just, I just need a minute. You think, Ethan can't give you a minute. Like, it doesn't matter what Ethan does or says. You still said what you said. You still are who you are. You can't, you can't run away from it. This video is proving it. I just, I just, I was at my wit's end. I just wanted the world to know, the universe to know. I'm just like, please, please let these people stop talking about me and making deaths. Yeah. I just never received so much hate and just also just people digging and trying to spin something. And I'm, I'm very careful with my words online. Like I said, I know she I'm thinks making... we're spinning something. People spin. I'll give her that. But the crux of everything is exactly the same. There's no spin on that. Like, what, what can we, she, she literally thinks when we say you lied about Mr. R, because when we Google what you told us to Google, that's not what shows up. She thinks that's a spin. She thinks facts are spin. Miss, because I say that they don't backtrack all the time, but something like this, and then I just okay, I'm like rambling at this point. But you've been rambling, rambling the whole people. time. I just I can't combat every lie. I'm silent. Oh, they're guilty. Because bruh, bruh, bruh. She's saying it again. I can't combat every lie. If you have to, if you have lied so much that you can't combat every lie, then you are a liar. You are a habitual liar. I don't know how she, that doesn't add up to her. I, I think she thinks lying is normal. I think she thinks habitual lying is a normal thing that everybody else does. Say anything, another if I say something, there's just more to pick out, there's more to dig out, there's more. She's trying to manipulate people. She's trying, there's literally no winning. And I'm making this video because I work online. I have to continue posting online. I want to do what I've always been doing, which is like lifestyle. Just do OnlyFans. Just you know, post where you're wanted. Stuff, you know, just, like, let me be happy. I've seen all this stuff. I've addressed all this stuff. Like, I, I know people really, really don't want to see me happy. And ultimately, for people that do follow me, that are like, you know, we don't know what's going on, but we believe, you know, I, like, I need to make this for them too because there are, there are great people that, you know, that follow me. And it's, I absolutely love what I do. I've been on the internet um, 15 years making what she needs to do, in my opinion, is focus on the people who love you. Focus on the people who don't give a damn or don't care to know. Um, focus on them. They will pay you handsomely and you would be so much happier. Look at Gabby Hanna. Ever since Gabby Hanna stopped trying to be in the public eye and focus on the people who actually give a damn about her on her OnlyFans and Patreon, she has been a much happier young woman. You can have the same thing, Trisha. You've built a very large fan base for yourself. I don't understand why she doesn't just do what would actually make her happy. Because what it takes to be a public figure, especially on YouTube, is to hold yourself accountable when you mess up. And since you're incapable of doing that, go to a place where no accountability is needed or required. I've been doing this and it's just like, there's other armies of people there. I love, I love what I do. I love the internet when it's just when I focus on me. I feel like I thrive most when I focus on myself and not talking about other people. And again, if people can talk about other people and gossip, you know, there's just, there's so many details. And if that, if you can separate that, that's great. But for me, I can't, like it really does. It, it feeds something so negative to me. I don't like it. So I wish people would fact check these titles are getting so ridiculous. We wish that you would fact check. She said, I wish people would fact check these titles. How about you fact check? CP allegations. How about that? Yeah, stuff is scary because it does go into real life. And I, I know even people know that better than anyone when they've gotten um, unwanted, you know, calls to their house. I mean, you know, they know how it feels. So I thought reaching out, which is like, hey, just all cold truths with everything. And just being immediately like, I'm going to show you stuff. Like, I, whenever something came up, I had like, I have to show I was in a complete hysteria. Again, I apologize if I worried anybody, but I just, I wanted to end. And like, I am sorry again for, I mean, just, I, for, for inciting any of this, like, I can't. I just, I just have to stop. Okay, I'm like, it's Again, every time she says sorry, she's not actually sorry. This video was 28 minutes and 51 seconds so far of her proving that she's 
sorry for absolutely nothing. When she says I'm sorry, what she actually means is please leave me alone. That's what I'm sorry for Matricia Paytas means. And begging, like I'm just begging, I'm just trying to like move on and move forward. And like again, I'm hoping this just ends it, just, at least on my end, you know? It just, it, seeing that specific situation that happened to me and just seeing the spam of the name and all this stuff over and over and then just like, and then just the name that you I'm gave just, us. Have to talk about this. And I was like, it's just too much. It's just too much. And um, I, I'm, I am better. And again, I don't, I, I went better. private because I just, I, I literally had a, a breakdown. Like, I don't know. Again, if I didn't have Moses here, you guys have seen it before when I've been single. Like, I, I spiral and I'm sure, and I know and it's been said in texts too. I've seen them like wanting me to spiral and stuff. And it, I know that's a lot of people's goal. And um, like, yeah, some it's trolls happened, want and it's happened. Spiral. Obviously, we all know I've been to a mental hospital you just three times. You just want you to hold yourself accountable. It's, you know, I'm, again, I'm, I'm fortunate that I'm this. I am okay. Um, I'm on antipsychotics, but anyways, all right. Um, okay. Bye. Yo, you deserve a gold medal for sitting through that. We deserve a gold medal for sitting through that. Uh, it is an hour and 35 minutes. I uh, sacrificed sleep for this. Um, it was just too... I really thought she was going to give me Arianka. Um, I didn't. I couldn't resist. I just had to hear the BS, and BS it was. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts below. What do you think will come from this? Um, does this change or color your view of the situation at hand when it comes to Trisha Paytas, Ethan Klein, Hila Klein, Moses Huckman, is that his name? Um, and his allegations. Uh, does it change your thoughts on the YouTube sphere when it comes to these YouTube celebrities and the T channels that report on them? Those, what are your thoughts? What are your conclusions from this? Um, my conclusion from this is that Trisha, um, has a lot of narcissistic tendencies and if you know someone like Trisha Paytas or you are actually dealing with Trisha Paytas, like on the off chance, Ethan and them are watching this, you're doing the right thing. You have to be stone cold. And I highly recommend the book, Stop Walking on Eggshells. That will help you quite a lot. I think Trisha Paytas is a very clear case study of what it's like to deal with somebody who is not just the word toxic, but they're literally diagnosed. Pause. Maybe they're not diagnosed because who knows if they're lying or not. But they do have BPD, and I'm suspecting even narcissistic personality disorder as well. Uh, that was loud. I'm sorry. I hope you guys didn't bust your ears. Um, thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate that you chose to watch this with me. You could have watched it with anybody else in the world, but you chose me. So until next time, much love, much luck. Peace out.